and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule well and who teach well. Much peace and mercy to the hopeful elect. This is John chapter 16, verse 33. These things I have spoken unto you, that in me ye might have peace. In the world ye shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. I'm starting with this precept because this video will be entitled Victory Should Not Be in Doubt. Because Yahweh Shai, as he just stated here, he said he overcame the world, man. He overcame this world. He he entered into the flesh. You know, he was born of a uh, of a you know through a woman. <clears throat> Went through the different trials and t tribulations and temptations, but he overcame. It. Right, and he was you know ultimately raised from the dead, and now he's sitting on the right hand of the Father. And Yahweh Shai, he said that. <clears throat> Real fast. First John chapter 14. And uh, I'm gonna start at the top. Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in the most high, believe also in me. So we have faith, right? We have trust, belief, not only in the Heavenly Father, because he told us we was gonna go into captivity. The curses was gonna come upon us. We was gonna <clears throat> we was gonna forget our heritage. The Yahweh Shai said, believe also in me. Why? Because you know he, he's the son of the Heavenly Father. He was sent. He had a mission to not only die for us, Matthew 1 and 21. The elect, he died first and foremost for the elect sins, <clears throat> but also to come and receive us in the end. Verse 2, in my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I'd go to prepare a place for you. So Yahweh Shai went off to prepare a place for us. That's why you read, um, I believe it's Deuteronomy. I could be wrong, but he said he stretches the curtains, the heavens like the curtains. I don't know what's going on. Salakia. Um, <clears throat> verse 3 And if I go and prepare a place for you I will come again and receive you unto myself That where I am There ye may be also So this is something that we should be looking forward to We should understand that The Lord He went on this journey you know, he died, he rose again, he sat on the right hand of the Father. He prepared a place for us, but he said he will, he will come again and receive us unto himself. That what? That where I am, there ye may be also. And where's the Heavenly Father's Son right now? He's sitting on the right hand of him. So he he's going to gather the elect so that the elect will ultimately sit in that same position that same seat with Yahweh Shai because the scriptures say that you know we are joint heirs with the Messiah <clears throat> verse 4 and whether I go you know and and the way you know so I'm gonna jump to um first Corinthians because you know we're going to be changed you know the victory um as it reads later in this chapter is over death you know, because um, it's that Romans, the sixth chapter around the 34th -ish verse says that the wages of sin is death. But the gift of the most high, I'm going to actually grab that. Six and twenty three <clears throat> Romans six and twenty three for the wages of sin is death. But the gift of the most high is eternal life through who? Through Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, our Lord. You see, so. This is what we're patiently waiting for. This this is a part of the victory. Trusting and believing in Yahweh Shai, knowing that he's coming back, knowing that this place is not going to last forever. Not going hey, this place doesn't have 10 more years in it, man. You're just going to be honest. Just look at it. 
I really don't have no, you don't even have five years. And I speak as a man. We don't know how long we're going to be here. We don't know how long, you know, all these different prophecies is going to, you know, take place. But all hell is going to break loose. The MOT will be the MOTB will be established and he, he's going to get his number, but he's not going to he's not going to get the elect. <clears throat> so to get to the most high is eternal life through who? Through Yahweh Shai and Mashiach. It's not just eternal life. It's through Yahweh Shai. That's why he said, I am the door. You know, no man cometh unto the Father but by me. All these different things. Yahweh Shai, he is the key. So you can't bypass him. You can't bypass Yahweh Shai. So I'm going back. 1 Corinthians 15 and 51. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump. What's the last trump? That last plague, you know, it's multiple scriptures in the book of Revelations. Talk about the, the, the seven plagues, the seven vials, <clears throat> seven trumpets, right? At the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound and the dead shall be raised incorruptible and we shall be changed. So we're going to be changed. We're going to put off this, as it reads here, for this corruptible must put on incorruption and this mortal must put on immortality. So when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption and this and, and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass. So not on, not until this happens, this saying will not come to pass. But afterwards, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written. Where is it written? It's written in, uh, in, in the scriptures. Death is swallowed up in victory. If I'm not mistaken, it was written in Isaiah. Let me see. It should be here. <coughs> <clears throat> yeah, Isaiah 25 in verse 8. He will swallow up death, death and victory, and the Lord Yahweh will wipe away tears from off all faces, Israelite faces, and the rebuke of his people shall be, shall he take away from off all the earth curses, for the Lord Yahweh has spoken it. And it shall be said in that day, lo, this is our power. So this is possessive. This is a possessive. Our is a possessive uh, noun or pronoun. One of those. <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm not a <laughs> grammar, <laughs> you know, <laughs> enthusiast. We have waited for him. See? And he will save us. This is Yahweh. We have waited for him. We will be glad and rejoice in his salvation. And this is something that we are rejoicing in. We are rejoicing in the fact that these prophecies are coming to pass, you see, and that and that soon we will be delivered soon that we will receive that victory. Victory is not in doubt, brothers. We yeah, it looks like we're losing now. It looks like, you know, oh, th there's no way out. There's no getting, you know, oh, you just gonna have to pay taxes until you die. You know, you gotta have to work until you die. Yeah, um, the women. The, 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 the dating pool of women is, is extremely, if not completely gone, is just through and, and, and low. You know, there's no future in this place, man. There's no future in this place. You might find that one needle in the haystack that, that you know, don't give you too much hell. But ultimately, this is not our rest, man. Micah 2 and 10. There's no building. There's no uh, gaining wealth and legacy in this in this society man in this kingdom this is the, this kingdom was made built and established for the edomites man this is their heaven this is uh as it reads um there was a new heaven and a new earth this is their heaven and, and earth man this was the part a part of their blessing that isaac uh our father isaac gave unto them you have the the dew of heaven the fatness of the earth. This is their portion, man. So let, let them have it, man. They got it, man. They can have the Bugattis, the McLaurins, and, you know, these, these so-called bad bitches, which in reality, they're not, they're not even bad bitches. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They just dress like sluts and wear a lot of makeup. You know, a lot of these women are out of shape. Their minds are fucked up. They don't know how to serve a man. They damn sure don't know how to serve um, 
<laughs> they don't even know how to serve themselves, man. <laughs> you know? So, anyway, that's another topic. Let me read this again. Isaiah 25 and 9. And it shall be said in that day, lo, this is our power. And it says that in Micah the seventh chapter. Like, hey, you know, actually, if I can grab that, because this is, you know, I'm going I'm to just grab this. Micah chapter 7, verse 10. <clears throat> then she that is mine enemy shall see it, and shame shall cover her, which said unto me, Where is the Lord thy God? You see that? So even these women in the world, they're saying, you know, they they looking at us. They might not say it to our face, but they 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 scoffing, they mocking, they talking shit. When we on the highways and byways and we calling on our power, Yahweh by Shimmy Shai, and we're telling these people to their face, the Lord's gonna deliver us, is gonna put you fucking heathen in captivity under our foot. He's gonna change us, we're gonna be immort immortals on this earth. We're going to be rich. We're going to be powerful. We're going to be handsome, tall. You know, all the different things that we, we speak about. The gospel, Yahweh, our Lord is coming back. Our big brother is coming back. This place is going to be destroyed. All these different things that we're saying. You got to understand, these people hear it. And they're scoffing. They're talking shit behind the scenes. They're laughing. Oh, these niggas is crazy. They don't they don't know the white man in power. That's the mindset that they have. So that's what they that's what that means when it says, where is the Lord thy God? You see, <clears throat> mine eyes shall behold her. Now shall she be trodden down as a mile of the street. So what that means, that means when all hell get to breaking loose, these prophecies get to come in the past. She's going to get her ass stomped on, man, trampled on, ravished all, all of the above. Isaiah 25 and 9 again, and it shall be sin, and it shall be said in that day, Lo, this is our power. This is our power. <laughs> we have waited for him, and he will save us. So all these different things starting to come to pass. <clears throat> you know? Salakia. <coughs> all these different things coming to pass. All these different things are happening. You know, these people getting destroyed, famine, et cetera, et cetera. The chariots coming and beaming up the elect. It says we have waited for him and he will save us. This is our power. This is Yahweh. We have waited for him. We will be glad and rejoice in his salvation. And then we are going to rejoice, man. The scriptures say that the, the, the um, remnant were all frightened for the for, you know, that time of destruction, when those missiles hit, being scarcely saved, you know? <clears throat> so going back, 1 Corinthians 15 and 54 again. So when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption, and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, death is swallowed up in victory. O death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy glory? Uh, victory, you see? So this is death finally leaving us, right? We were married to death. <laughs> we had a covenant with death, you see? But the Lord is going to change that. He's going to root out the problem, the, 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 the root of the problem. He's going to take out the root of the problem, man. The root of, of the problem is sin what causes sin <clears throat> go to first john chapter three and verse four whosoever committed sin transgressed also the law for sin is the transgression of the law you see so that's that's transgression of the law it says uh <clears throat> The sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. So the strength of sin is the law. And, and the reason why sin is so potent from, 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 you know, and it's so strong is because of these bodies, man. This flesh is adverse to righteousness. That's why you have to fast. That's why you have to pray. That's why you have to rebuke certain thoughts. Because, because them spirits, man, them evil spirits... You know, a Satan, Satan has has reign on this earth, man. It's allowed to tempt, tempt you, man. 
to do certain shit, to say certain shit, to be a certain way. You have to rebuke it, man. You get you can't allow Satan to come in <laughs> and and just, you know, rule over your temple, man. He's going to destroy you. So when we get these new bodies, it, it reads that in Ezekiel 36. I think I, I think I believe it is. Uh huh. Ezekiel 36 and 25. Then will I sprinkle clean water upon you, and you shall be clean from all your filthiness and from all your idols. Will I cleanse you? A new heart also will I give you, and a new spirit will I put within you, and you and I will take away the stony heart out of your flesh, and I will give you a heart of flesh. See, so that stony heart is what's adverse to the law, statutes, commandments, but that flesh, that heart of flesh is going to allow us to, to receive the, the law in our minds, and it's going to be permanent, it's going to be uh, autonomous you see there will be no more oh fuck it's a sabbath man damn it i forgot it was a sabbath no as soon as you wake up oh it's a sabbath day you know i know oh we can't no cooking no fire no 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 you know boning our women nothing it's time to praise the lord it's time to you know rest or whatever it is man all the laws we're gonna love our neighbor as thyself you know, we won't steal, we won't murder. You know, we won't covet. We won't worship idols. All the different things in the law, man. We're going to hold it within our minds and we're going to it's going to be autonomous. Going back one more verse. <clears throat> verse 57. But thanks be to Yahweh, which giveth us the victory through our Lord Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. You see, so thanks to the Heavenly Father, man, because if it was not for the Heavenly Father's mercy and his love and long suffering, we would not have this truth right now. And, and, and it was all written from it was predestined from the foundation of the earth to not only receive this earth in the in the very beginning, Adam go off and go down this 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 rabbit hole of sin and death and 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 heartache and curses all the way up until now when we have, you know, lost who we were as a people, our knowledge of, of the Lord and, and our heritage, but now regaining it, remembering who we are, rehearsing the righteous acts, patiently waiting for our Lord and Savior to return, to change us so that we can do it the right way. You see, so it's all written, man. So victory is not it's not in doubt. Victory is 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 assured for the nation of Israel, starting with the elect. All Israel. Let's get that. Romans 11 and 26. Uh, yeah. And so all Israel shall be saved as it is written. There shall come out of Zion the deliverer and shall turn away ungodliness from Jacob. Beautiful. You see. So Yahweh Shai is going to turn ungodliness from Jacob. You know, and it's going to start with that deliverance. It's going to start with being changed. Right. It starts now. That's why we, hey, we, we were given a, a duty, occupied till I, I come. So we have to do these videos. We have to study. We have to read. We have to build our faith, you know, and ask for faith if your faith is weak. Because cause co consistently being in the scriptures is what's going to solidify your faith. The scriptures say wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. When you look at the word stability means stable, it means fortified, to not be shaken. The only reason you will be shaken is, is through doubt, unbelief. So I'm going to end it there. Your word and lessons that are fine and faith boost. And I'm going to give all praises and glory and honor to Yahweh Basham, Yahweh Shai Basham, Shalom.